Hello and welcome to today's Connect Exchange. Uh, my name is Art Erdoki and I'm part of the Hands-On Connect Cloud Solutions team and it is my distinct pleasure to bring Sue and introduce her, you, you all to her um, as she's going to be talking about a really great tool, Cirrus Insight um, and their new flight plans. Um, this is really exciting for us. We've been using this tool um, at Hands-On Connect um, and love it, and it's a great tool, and we see a lot of great potential for our nonprofit customers who are really excited to have Sue present. And Idealist Consulting just um, listed them as one of the top um, apps for nonprofits. So really a lot of um, great content there. So today we have uh, Sue Fernand, uh, Vice President with Cirrus Insight, and she's presented before on their email integration tool but today we're going to actually be turning it over to her and doing a demo on their new flight plans tool which is really exciting um, i won't steal her thunder of how awesome the tool is uh, but thank you so much sue for joining us and can't wait to see the presentation excellent thanks art thanks for everybody uh giving us your time today to join us and talk a little bit about uh, our flight plans, which is something new. So for those of you that know Cirrus Insight, you know, we have a really awesome tool for integrating Salesforce with the inbox. We support Gmail, Outlook, Office 365, and we increase Salesforce adoption by 10 times uh, by making it easy to use, by allowing people to live in their inbox and still manage all of their workflow and logging and tracking of activities and, and events and keeping stuff up to date within Salesforce. Uh, we introduced a couple months back something called Flight Plans, which allows you to now create a custom campaign. Again, building that, right now it's available for Gmail, but we will have a, an Office 365 re release later in the year. But build your process right into what we call a flight plan, and you can launch people into flight right inside of Gmail and keep on top of the individual steps within that campaign right inside of Gmail as well. And of course, it all tracks back to Salesforce as well. We think this is a really great use case for nonprofits, you know, especially in the fundraising space, because certainly, you know, fundraising really is sales, right? There's a process around that. And usually it is a, a combination of some emails and some phone calls and maybe some other unique to-dos. Now, that may be something that you're managing manually or you're going through and creating a lot of tasks in Salesforce, but again, it's keeping you in a different workflow than being in your inbox. This allows you to create that process, which may start with an email, maybe a couple of days later or a few minutes later, you wanna do a phone call. Maybe after that, you wanna do some connecting on social, maybe following them on Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook whatever you find to be most successful to kind of get some intel about who you're talking with. And you can you know, continue to build that process out. It can be as long as 20 steps, might be as short as five steps, but you're building that process in. Again, it's 100% integrated into your Gmail in inbox as well as it's synced to Salesforce. Um, I'll show you a screen in mine instead of making everybody go blind on this small screen, but once you put people into flight, obviously there's going to be a bunch of steps that you have to go through and, and complete. So there's a separate tab now inside of Gmail that allows you to do that. So it's basically going to tell you that you have a phone call that you need to make. It's going to tell you that you need to send an email. Um, your emails can be sent automatically or they can be what we call review and send. So it would pop up in your action items, and then you have the option of you know layering in a little more uh, personalization. I think one of the things to point out with flight plans is you know we're not positioning it as marketing automation because we want it to be really personalized. So it allows you to automate processes, but still keep that you know layer of personalization in it. Um, you know, especially if you're reaching out to people, you're asking them to to donate. You know, you want to kind of keep a very personal engagement with them, um, as well as, you know, if you wanted to do just some emails and it was not something mass scale, you could certainly use it for that as well. So in that case, it could have a nice, you know, it could kind of check both boxes, right? It could be a low weight marketing automation tool with a really powerful campaign tool also on board. There's lots of metrics uh, built into flight plans too, so that once you start putting people into flight, you can really track what's working, what's not working. A huge part of flight plans are also 
uh, tracking outcomes. So while you're running through the steps of these uh, cadences, what potential outcomes might you run into from a positive or a negative standpoint? So positive being, yes, send me information or yes, I, you know, I'd like to donate X, Y, Z. Negative being, you know, I'm not interested or don't have budget right now or hey, you know, stop calling me, something like that. You can build those in ahead of time so that when you're running through the steps at any individual time that you get to an outcome, you can choose that. And then obviously you're able to, uh, you're able to track that too. So over time, you can really see what's yielding the most positive outcomes, as well as what's you know potentially yielding the most negative outcomes. You can really kind of figure out, are calls working better than emails? Are these individual tasks that you're doing, are they you know yielding positive or negative outcomes? And then of course, because we're tracking this all back to Salesforce, it's all there, but it's also giving you visibility, you know, like we've always done with Cirrus Insight on, are people opening these emails? Maybe they haven't responded, but they did open it up. They did click uh, click on a few links. That's obviously useful for purposes of your follow up, or if you're going to customize an email a little bit. You know, having that information is definitely relevant. I think the phone call is probably something that you know is getting sort of back in vogue. I think we got into the habit of doing a lot of email and not really reaching out and calling people anymore. And it's definitely something that, you know, we ourselves at Cirrus Insight are starting to use a lot more of and we're really seeing it, really seeing it work. So phone calls are definitely a, a part of the cadence that you can build into flight plans, but you can also load in a call script. So if you've got, you know, a newer member on the team, it can kind of coach somebody through what they should say if they get someone on the line, or if you get voicemail, what's, you know, what's something that you should say at this point. So this way it's, you know, giving you kind of that, a uh, little uh, added uh, confidence when you get someone on the phone because you've got some maybe talking points that would pop right up in the in the call dialogue box. And of course, this is all logging back to Salesforce as well. We also support this fully on our mobile app. So if you're in the office, obviously, it's super easy to keep on top of your action items because you're in your inbox. But if you're on the go, Cirrus Insight Mobile now also has the ability to go into flight plans and you you could see the metrics, but more importantly, stay on top of those action items as well as you can add people into flight right from the mobile app as well so with that i'm going to kind of quickly just show you what it looks like in gmail because obviously we use flight plans here at Cirrus since we've got a bunch of uh templates that we've created but for example if somebody does start a trial of our app which you know, we do offer free trials for those of you that are on the line on um, you know, make it super easy for them. They go in, you don't have to put a credit card, you just simply start the trial and it starts for 14 days. We have a very customized flight plan for that because obviously we want to be reaching out and, and be in communication with people that are starting trials. So the first step of this cadence is an email, but it is a review and send because we want to be able to insert some personal content in there, doing a little bit of research on LinkedIn, Twitter, or whatever the social profiles are, so that we can make our email that first kind of touch point sound very personal. So it's not going to look like this is an automated email that generated as a result of someone starting the trial. Uh, after that, a couple days later, we have a book meeting step. So we've got a tool that allows you to display your availability that makes it really, really easy to get meetings on the calendar. So instead of, you know, hey, why don't you give me some times at work for you so we can meet, you're basically saying, hey, here's some times that work for me. And they can click on that. And once that happens, it books it on my calendar and sends them an invite as well as it's logging it to Salesforce. So this is a way to automate that process too. So step two is, hey, here's some times at work. Let's get a meeting on the calendar. We have another email after a couple of days, which is kind of just, hey, checking back in on the trial. You know, some people like to just play around with technology. They don't want to be bothered. So we certainly don't want to look like we're harassing. So it's nice, simple content like, hey, just let me know what, what your preference is here and, and just kind of keeping that dialogue going. And then following up after that email, like, hey, I left you an email, wanted to kind of get follow up and see how things are going. So you'll notice there's a bunch of different steps. And then at the end, after you know uh, nothing happens, let's say after the 14-day trial, we automatically end the flight and we choose the outcome of you know nothing happened during that 14-day trial. But at any time during this process, you know I may get someone on the phone and they may tell me something that's going to have me choose a positive or a negative outcome. If I get them on the horn and they're like, yeah, 
let's proceed. That's positive. If I get them on the phone and they say, you know, I'm just, I'm really not interested. I don't have the time. I would choose the, the negative outcome. So I'm not calling them anymore after that. I'm not emailing them anymore after that. You know, this particular journey has stopped. We've also got this entirely integrated into our app. So at any given time, even if I'm not in the flight plans tab, I can see what's going on inside of our app. So I know this person's in a flight plan and maybe they sent me an email outside of the cadence, but because we've had some dialogue and maybe it's resulted in me choosing an outcome, I can do that right from here as well. Or if somebody sends you an email, either a response to something that was in the sequence or outside of that, we'll automatically pause the flight plan so that they don't get the second step or you don't get a call scheduled. It's not gonna do anything until you decide if you want to proceed or, or stop and choose an outcome. So again, really making sure that it's it's got the personal touch and lots of measures built in so that you don't, you know, inadvertently send someone an email when you just actually spoke with them or you just uh, received correspondence from them on something else. So keeping kind of that personal touch. You're also able to use Salesforce email templates when you're building this. So if you guys have already created content, you can repurpose it. So instead of you know having to retype all of those emails, you can pull them right in from Cirrus Insight. So we do make the process quite straightforward. And again, if you're interested in learning more and testing this out, um, you feel free to reach out to me or the folks over at Hands On Connect can set you up with someone on our team and we can get you set up. I mentioned a little bit earlier on, it is right now supported only for Gmail, but we are gonna have an Office 365 integration later this year. Um, for nonprofits, we do a 50% discount, like we always have for, for any of our nonprofit accounts and, and flight plans would fall into that as well. So what we like to do with flight plans trials is just spend a little bit of time with you, figuring out what your process is now, building that into a couple of flight plans and then you can you know go ahead and play around with it put people into them and and track you know what the the outcomes are what metrics you're seeing and then you know once if you purchase you know you can create as many flight plans as you want um and you can you know either lock it down where you have one person creating it and then other people are just going to use the templates or you can let people you know create their own cadences it's really a matter of what's working for, for your organization and what, you know, what comfort level the individuals using the app are at. So that's kind of a high level overview. Like I said, if someone would like to get a little bit more of an in-depth overview or, or how this would relate to processes that you're using within your organization, feel free to reach out. Like I said, be happy to sit down and get an understanding of what your process is and how we could, you know, build that into a flight plan and, and make, the process a lot easier for you and, and really be able to over time get a good handle on you know what's the best process what's working what's not working and take advantage of all of the great integration with salesforce as well so art anything to, to add on that no just thank you so much um i know we at hands-on connect have been using flight plans to let our customer know about great sessions like today's session um as well as uh, some of the ones that we have coming up, like our data duplication and Salesforce files coming up in the next few weeks. And we've seen a tremendous response and, and great positive feedback from our customers um, and engagement and um, our attendance um, has definitely increased um, as a result of using this tool. So we definitely, we love it. Um, we know that our nonprofit customers uh, will love it as well. So thank you so much for joining us today uh, and thanks and um, thanks to everyone for your attendance today again we do have data duplication next week um, followed by Salesforce files uh, as always we do record these sessions so check out the previous recording from Cirrus Insight on the email integration that they have um, and also our series on math email and campaigns those are two items that are very relevant um, to uh, to the flight plans and the ability to kind of really build some comprehensive communications with your stakeholders. So thanks again for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you at the next Connect Exchange or Connect University.